I am a visual artist, and I'm here tonight to introduce you to a public art project that identifies cultures that reside in the central coast of California. And this region extends from Ventura to Monterey County. The question is, what do artists do? Well, we start with a question, and then we go into our studios and research. Artistic research works on questions of culture and thought. We then make images that share these findings. Note the great company I'm with up there. Culture is not limited to ethnicity. It is found in industry, activities, and our environment. In California, we have one of the most diverse and multicultural populations in the world. The question is, how does this affect you? You are a California cocktail. You are a cultural mixologist. Your life is infused with multiple influences, and you carry these cultures forward like bees carry pollen. Through the project website and e-newsletter, you will see individual paintings come alive through video and blogs. These tell the story of our community, both past and present. When I go into a museum, I'm always tempted to ask the subject of a portrait something about their life. So I created a way for you to do that. This approach is a portal, not only to the person's appearance, but to their history, accomplishments, dreams, and to the relationship with the larger community. We're using three mediums to create these multimedia portraits. Now, each medium has a unique quality to make it an interactive experience with you, the audience. And interactive is a key word. The first one is portrait painting. This, of course, is the most traditional and the oldest method. It requires that I commit to one important image that captures the essence of the person being painted. These painting skills have been passed down through hundreds of years. The second is video. This media allows the subjects to speak and share their story. You can see their mannerisms and hear the inflections and in their voice. Our project filmmaker, Tina Love, weaves the portrait painting pro process into the subject's life story. Social media is the fastest growing technology that we have. This gives us a platform for you to see and experience the art, video, and written word. But most importantly, you can interact and influence the project. Our writer, Catherine Bradford, and photojournalist, Monica Weisblatt, create cultural commentary through blogs and images. These ideas and imagery get carried forward as memes. Memes are ideas that are spread rapidly through the internet. Now, a lot of these people in our project have public notoriety, but others are also unknown. However, all of them are tagged with multiple cultures Many of these are shared in common. We never are just one culture or have one identity. All of these individuals stand as symbols for the many cultures that give our life color and meaning. Tonight, I'm going to focus on two diverse portraits and their cultures, Ernestine de Soto, a Barbarino Chumash elder, and Dr. Shuji Nakamura, the inventor of the blue LED light. Ernestine de Soto is the last generation to hear her mother speak their native Barbarino Chumash language. The Santa Barbara mission in the back alludes to the Chumash history with the Spanish conquistadors, as well as Ernestine's personal history with the mission. This portrait was painted with egg yolk and ground mineral pigments. This medium, egg tempera, was used when the Europeans first encountered the new world. Therefore, I referenced Bellini's egg tempera painting, Madonna in the Meadow, as a format. Ernestine stands with a Thule reed scepter 
which represents Chumash basketry. And this is something that they are well known for. It points to the bear constellations Ursa Major and Minor. And these symbolize Ernestine's relationship with her mother, a Chumash parable, and her spirit animal. Dr. Nakamura's portrait stands for the technological culture in our region. Now this portrait is very contemporary. Note the reference to the light and the galenium nitride crystal. Some of my inspirations for this portrait were from Gustav Klimt and his use of Japanese motifs. Artists from that period were influenced by the new flow of trade from Japan. And Klimt was painting when Thomas Edison made his breakthrough with electrical lighting. We are once again influenced in art by Japan. Anime is found in our contemporary art and is often linked to our geek culture of technology. And I use that affectionately. As Shuji's childhood superhero, Adam Boy links science, technology, and anime all together. So learn about your community and yourself at portraitsofthecentralcoast.com. Subscribe to our newsletter. Friend us on Facebook and Instagram. Comment, share, identify new cultures with us. Basically, participate. Thank you.